Guys missed us, but we're here. Listen, y'all, I just want y'all to know that we're having some technical difficulties. I'm sure you keep seeing it. Go offline, come back on, go offline. Just bear with us. Um, we're getting it back line. We're back up online now. Don't know what the issue is. I'm not computer savvy, but I'm doing what I can do. You know what I'm saying? But thank you for, for um, tuning in, and thank you for supporting us, and thank you for staying online. All right. Now, who do we have in the building right now, Cindy? We have Mr. Rick Watson. Woo! What's up, Mr. Watson? How are you? How are you? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm truly, truly blessed and happy to be here with this great... I've been wanting to get interviewed here forever, so thank you for allowing me to come in this time. He said forever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever? So I was just talking to him real quick about, you know... Your uh, past that you you know you told me to ask him about. Oh, a VIP. And he said he don't recall. Really? That's yeah, what they all say. Everybody, everybody come saying? here say they don't recall. Yeah, you know that? exactly. Like, what's up? I yeah. learned that Cindy is a controversialist. <laughs> 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 oh, you know that? <laughs> she didn't put me to the side. Anything she put no. me on line, they put me on blast <laughs> on the radio. <laughs> on the radio <laughs> about what I said and her misunderstandings. <laughs> oh, so really? I just not. want the <laughs> audience to know. Yeah, but that's how we do it. We gotta put you that's on blast in front of everybody. You know. I'm saying to let them know that. How real is that though? <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. It was real, recognized real. Well, how real is that? That's not fair. Yeah. No, but it's real. Fair. Life ain't fair. Listen. Now, she's not telling y'all the part that she's supposed to have been in the play and haven't been to one rehearsal. Are you serious? I couldn't so come to rehearsal. That's rehearsal. real, recognized, wait, 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 real. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. First of all, wow. first of all See. rehearsal is from Monday from 7 to 9 p.m. Really? Yeah, he did it on he did it on purpose. Yeah. He did it on purpose. This our Cause he time. called me and told me I'm gonna try and move this Tuesday, real. all right? This is real, recognized real. You look at the dog's live on, on, on the radio. Play, but I'm still in the play. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm still in the yeah, play. Yeah, but you're in the play, see? We're going to get introduced at the end and all. They don't, well, I don't know what she did, but Cindy, Bible princess is here. Yeah, I know that's right. I don't understand what my part was, but that's okay. You we know got what I'm saying? We got a part for you, too. Okay. You got a part for you, too. You got a part for the light yeah, skin yeah. All right, cool. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. She's light skin card. She's such a hater. Every time. You know? She's cute girl. She got the She's cute. She just standing in the corner and smiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. Likes, I can do that. That's all she got. That's all she got. So that. tell everybody that that's you know it's not about us right now. It's about okay. you that's right. uh, and this play that's coming to the Kimball Center. Let everybody know the name of the play and you know some of your cast and all yeah, that other good stuff. Definitely, definitely. Uh, well, the play is coming uh, October uh, the fifth this Saturday coming up. I'm very excited to be doing it. I'm doing uh, it's my new play, my new stage play. This will be my ninth one. Um, we're doing the um, John Whitehead story from the group McFadden and Whitehead. I'm doing his wife's story, Elna Whitehead. Um, she approached me about um, doing the story, and I was actually overly excited to do it because first <coughs> I was supposed to be doing Teddy Pendergrass through his son's story, his Teddy Pendergrass' son's story about his father. Mm -hmm. But I thought that John Whitehead, when I did research, was such a great humanitarian for the people. And I, and uh, and it's sad that it's overshadowed that his drug abuse at one point in his life is overshadowing, you know, what he's what his what he's done in, in his career and he's done so much for the people and if you listen to all his songs and I'm sure Kenny Gamble wouldn't agree with this but he is the sound of Philadelphia mm -hmm. okay. I mean he's wrote songs for um, groups like uh, he wrote their first actually he wrote Philly International first um, gold record um, which was uh, um, Backstabbers for the OJs okay. and uh, he's written songs like um, you know he wrote for everybody he wrote over 100 something platinum hits and uh, he's wrote for everybody from the Jackson 5 to Melba Moore to everybody and uh, in this show he's done so many uh, songs that he's written that we'd, we've hired the groups instead of getting the rights to do the songs we hired the groups that he wrote songs for like the intruders he wrote stuff like I always love my mama he wrote um, for the blue notes I don't know the blue notes he wrote stuff like uh, wake up everybody okay. he wrote songs like um, bad luck that's what you got so it's so many we can go on and on but um, I'm actually starring in this play it's my first <coughs> theatrical starring debut all right, yeah, all right. All right. I mean, if you're putting these plays together, you Might gotta well. have a cameo appearance. I know, and, and well. no, but you know, honestly, everybody's been asking me uh, mm -hmm. to do a cameo, and I always say, "Well, eventually, I will." I don't know. And then what happened was, I uh, uh, 
she, uh, Angela Dunlop, a big playwright, Philly came in and she had Leon and them doing the play here and the tickets weren't selling good so I helped them push it and they wanted me to do a cameo. And after I did a cameo on stage at the Merriam Theater with them, I said, how am I not doing my own play exactly. sometimes? Right, right. So it, it made me say, okay, I'm going to do it and my father has been wanting me to and I've been blessed to do it. Um, also, my, my co-star, she's not here. She wanted to be here so bad. Um, Miss Sun, Sunbird is her name. And uh, she plays Elmo right here, Mr. John right here, second wife. Um, and uh, she really wanted to be here, and I want to just give her a shout out. Sunbird, who is a songstress, she's a great singer, great actress, and our chemistry together on stage is like mind boggling. You're going to actually believe we're married. Wow. Okay. okay. So that's so, awesome. That's so I've never been married, so I, this is my wife for the place. So. I know, that's right. Okay. <laughs> and then also, I got a great supporting cast. I mean, I've, only a couple of them came today. I've been running crazy doing interviews everywhere, but some of them are here today, and I want to introduce them if y'all don't mind. Sure, of course. Uh, we miss, we got Miss Sean Moyer here. Say hi, Sean. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sean. She's, uh, she's in, uh, you want to tell what you do, what, what we're seeing you in, in the plan on? Okay, Sean I Moyer act, is a, she's a and act. I'm glad to be working on this project with Rick Watson, Mr. Rick Watson. Oh, and we have been asking him to Forever. appear, so this is going to be great. Um, I think this will be my third time working with him on his productions. And I love the way he keeps his team together, the way he tells the stories, the whole support. And being at the Kimmel Center with this, I think is just the greatest part of history, and I'm glad to be a part of that. Yeah, that's real big. Right. At yeah, the awesome. it at the Kimmel yeah. Center, yeah, that's nice. real big. Yeah. Yeah, they, out to I you. didn't know that the, the media has been calling me a lot and doing interviews on you because I didn't know that uh, I knew that the Kimball Center was major, but I didn't know it was one of the most prestigious situations oh, yeah. in the country. Exactly. Like most if you stuff. go to this other station now, they got really big things. The Kimball right. Center is really a, a big, big thing. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Oh, too. we are too, too with our passes. I know. I know. Yeah, oh, I know y'all keep throwing passes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, y'all so happy that, yeah, y'all excited about them passes. Y'all keep lying saying, I said, no, I'm just yeah. oh. <laughs> Real, recognized, real. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why? Right, we don't keep, know. Let me let me introduce some more before they get more passes out of here. Let me try. <laughs> next, next we got here uh, Mr. Okay. Tommy Hunt. He's the first time guy working with me. You can tell a little bit about what he's doing and without giving away the whole thing. Mr. Tommy Hunt. Look. Just pull the mic towards you, Tommy. Yeah, how you doing? I'm uh, Tommy Hunt, and uh, I play Cop Two in the play. Uh, my husband John of uh, McFadden and Whitehead. Um, basically, um, I'm just uh, one of the backup cops, you know, that come in and, you know, go in my direction of, you know, part of the play. You ready to shoot somebody? That's oh, okay. Yeah, basically, I'm, uh, I'm on alert, you know, getting ready, you know, just to, you know, look for what's going on and, you know, just you know, play my role and everything. So I'm, I'm excited to do it. You know, I, uh, I met um, Rick through a family member and, you know, he's um, looked out and let me come along and, uh very appreciative of it and I'm uh, looking forward to you know us doing our thing at the Kimmel Center so are you in character right now no nah, no nah, this is just me I'm, I'm <laughs> no, just relaxed cool, you know I, I just <laughs> talk I mean, he's no, no, I, mean no, I, I just no, no, cause he's light skinned <laughs> yeah. yeah well you know <laughs> 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 nah you know it's just you he know he smiled not one yeah. time he like yo I'm just you know, yeah, just, nah, you know, know I, I just gotta be relaxed you know what I mean you know what he's a producer alright which is her husband and they all teaming up on me cause I'm chocolate so that means all y'all chocolate well you know they they always send directions Shout out to light skinned people. Team I see it all the time on the internet, so you know I gotta represent for Team Light Skin. That's right. Yeah. So you know I, I gotta do it. You know what I mean? I'm in the middle. You know, I don't know if I'm light skinned or what. I got you. No, you like it. I'm light skinned. I'm with y'all. They ain't no light skinned. He caramel. They want passes. Yeah, I'm caramel, man. Caramel. I ain't with y'all. He in between. Either way, he ain't going to house. How y'all gonna call me in between? I got a caramel. What is in between? What is in between? <laughs> hey, I light skin, dark skin. Just like I'm me. in between. Yo, Rick Watson, in between. <laughs> I hope it's between two women. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. What? You heard it live. You heard what he said. He in between two women. Hey, hey, I didn't say. I, said, I didn't say I was. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me let me well, just keep going. Let's, let's can we go drinking. go on a little bit? Let the chocolate guy here. Yeah, 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 All right, team chocolate, chocolate here yeah. is another <laughs> cast member. Here you go, team chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce him, <laughs> Dad. No wonder they put chocolate people in the house. Let's see. What <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I stay in between now. I ain't rep with you. Uh, we this here, this next guy here. I want to give introduction is a guy that's been a, a friend of mine for years. Uh, always a uh, great businessman and always had a lot of potential. Um, he has all the money. He mm -hmm. won't give me nothing for the production, but mm -hmm. he has all the money. But this guy here, Mr. Wiley Archer, is um, another character that's going to tell you about what he's doing here. So, Mr. Wiley Archer. Okay, Mr. Wiley. I'm Wiley Archer. Represent the dark skin for the dark skin breed. <laughs> Light skin one went, oh, went out in what? 1988 when I'll be sure went out. Oh, what? <laughs> Representing dark skin. They back though. They back. Don't get booed. I'm back. I'm cop number three. I'm cop number three in the play. Okay. Um, wonderful production. Glad to be a part of it. Uh, no Rick Watson for many years and excited to be in the play. Okay. Uh, okay. That's it. They ain't giving up no info, yo. You gotta come out to see the play. What's the date again? October. Saturday, October the fifth. October fifth. Okay, you gotta come out to see this play because it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be. I, I got a thing for all your people too, and, and, and it's something free for them. Okay. Because your people like free passes. Yeah, we, I find yeah, out. Yeah. Y'all is like the free circuit here in uh, <laughs> internet radio. The free circuit here. <laughs> You know what? He should be on comedy. Hey, That's uh, uh, you Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, what we're doing is a Saturday, October the 5th. is at the Kimmel Center. Um, the show starts at 8 o'clock. Um, we're also having anybody that comes, um, we'll make sure that that, that gives up the, uh, the the secret code is your internet radio's name. They will get in the, they will get in the uh, after party, the VIP after party for free. Oh. Wow. Y'all so, heard that? And after party gonna be wild because I'm going to vacation <laughs> after this week and turning my phones off. So Bible princes won't have to be worrying about being late for uh, Cindy. The Bible princes got worried about being late for um, rehearsals because the phone will be off. So don't call me or text me. No dark skin I'm people. Only the light skin producers can call me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So gonna play me. But but okay. but this but this is important though. Uh -huh. um, this play here, like everything that I do, I want to be. Uh, uh, constructively <coughs> encouraging for people. So even if we have fun and you're going to have some comedy, drama, right. and a lot of other things going on in it, but it's a great story and it's something that I think is meaningful to people in our communities to understand that the things you can get caught up in through, through being around the wrong situations, drug abuse, and also it's a lot of fun and it show how real love can, can overpower all those things. So this is a great play. Hopefully everybody come out Saturday, October the 5th. Um, the start show starts at 8pm. Um, you get your tickets at the box office um, from 9 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Okay. You can call and order on phone, which is 215-893-1999. Or you can uh, order online at KimmelCenter.org. Now, uh, light skin, I'm Mr. In-Between has represented for all sides, and I'm being neutral <laughs> since I'm in-between. So everybody light and dark skin, come on out. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> Go out and, and, and support us. So where can they find you, though, Mr. Watson? Everybody. I know you guys got Instagrams and, and Facebook well, and all that other stuff. Um, well, the best way is my website. That's the bottom the, What's your website? Uh, my name, Rick Watson. Actually, if you Google Rick Watson, um, I'm very proud to say that uh, if you Google me... First of what? All, you can't say that. Yes. That's, 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 that's a no-no on this That's the name of our okay, song. Okay, let me change it. Let me change it, please. Real than real. See, I don't know they got. They just pull blades out and all kinds of stuff. Man, I'm telling. And I want witnesses out there, even though y'all can't see it. Yes, the light skinned producer, the male over there on the other side, and the wife. I ain't gonna say the name because I'm under threat right now. But anyway, my name is number one. If you come up now, anytime, I ain't gonna say the other word with it. But if you go to RickWatsonProductions.com, I'm very proud to say you will enjoy what I have to offer. So read about me. Y'all, yeah. okay. y'all gonna enjoy this. Please go out into all seriousness. We we like to have fun on the show though. Right. But um, go out and support this man um, as he brings his play. He does lots and lots of plays. Yes, he um, does. You need to look him up and. Um, but yeah, yes, but right I'm now, really, really, really excited that he's the um, I believe the first African American to do have a play. A play. Not the first one to do something there, but a play. A play. At the Kimmel Center. And that's how the period even did. Tyler, yeah, there you go. Tyler, period. And that's why I was saying, 
I'm proud to be a part of history. Right. Exactly. Exactly. What part did you say you played? Yeah, she never said. Yeah, she never you have to come it. see. Oh. 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 You know she in between too. Like. She <laughs> in between spirit, yeah. We ain't telling you. <laughs> so y'all heard it first here on a real recognized real one, maybe not the first, but you know, go out to it's called My Husband John. Um, you can get your your tickets at the box office. You can also order them. Um, by phone at 215-893-1999. If you have any questions for for the cast or Mr. Rick Watson, please call in 215-695-2146. We're getting ready to go into a commercial break. Real we'll quick, be, real uh, quick. I don't think that they realize that they're live on camera because he just said oh. we pulled out weapons. He didn't know that they, they didn't know that they live. Right. See, y'all live right now. We got a real You statement. can't see underneath the counters. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, what the? Uh, you ain't know this? Good. This is hard, man. Yes. I ain't signing so release forms, man. What is going on? <laughs> so we're going to commercial break. Real recognized, real. We'll be right back, y'all. DJ Okay, so 
everybody just say this is Tommy. Welcome this, back, y'all. Welcome back to the Real Recognized Real Show. This is where uh, we do real things, right? Real things. We real talk. I mean, we right. just say whatever we feel, but it's always real. Yo, I just rhyme. <laughs> what? Now she's what? Rapper. Okay. Oh, she's a rapper. She's a rapper. You know, she's an undercover rapper. That's right. Her name Google is Dark me. Chocolate. Just she's really me. real to y'all. Just Google me. me. Hey. Hey. Just Google Rick Watts. That's no, 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 no. You want to carry? No. You got you got to carry yeah, on our video, video, but you can't say. Yeah, y'all rhyming with y'all the twins, <laughs> light and dark, uh, and company. So. That's right. We the new Ebony Nari, Salt and Pepper. Salt and right? Pepper. Everything. That's what we do. So before y'all get on out of here. What y'all want? What else do y'all want the viewers to um to know about what you're doing? Is there any other project, Rick, that's coming up that you're going to be, you know, doing? Well, or I, any other cast? Well, I just got back off tour in Atlanta with the last city, so this is the new play we're doing. So hopefully we'll be setting up a tour soon for this. We're just premiering it here in Philly because it's Philly and I love my city. Okay. And uh, yes. we also having a DVD release party. I believe it's uh Saturday, uh, October nineteenth at Miss Tootsie's. Uh, it's going to be a free event. Everybody come on out and hang out. It started at 10 p.m. to like 1 a.m. Um, so that's coming up afterwards. Uh, in between there, yeah, I'm taking a break and uh, turning my phone off so Cindy the Bible Princess can. <laughs> the light skinned people can. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because we did conversate through Facebook and then that was it. It's like. We talk and but then we don't you talk. All these props because you like skin. Like I, I, I'm no, that's because I wasn't giving him no is. back talk. I it wasn't. Is what it is, so. I wasn't giving him back talk. It was just Thank like you. boom, she boom, boom. Nice. You she here? Nice. This your time. Thank Let's you. do it. You know what I'm and saying? And said to please confirm, and I confirmed. That's confirm. right. And anybody else that from the staff, the other half. <laughs> <laughs> the dark skin half. <laughs> dark skin. I love you. We love you. Yeah. We know I love yeah. you. We, we that's love why it. I get you. That's why I get you. And I'm just so I glad we all we can all say that in yeah. love and fun, that's you know, because right. that's what it's all that's about. That's all it is. You know? It's all about PSP. That's PSP. Right. Support Philly. You know? that's I got what's shirts up. for sale. Okay. You was commercial and everything. <laughs> can I, my cast say something to y'all? Yes. This is a great cast. First of all, I just want to say this live anywhere I go and when I come out on stage, I could not be getting this done without great support. And as much as I bother since, um, even Cindy, uh, she's a great aspect too because she knows how to network with me and really get us out there to make sure that everything is going right towards the way it's supposed to be. And that's called black love and black power. And I want to give a shout just to my cast because they are working so hard for me that without them, there would not be no me. So that's the last thing I want to say and I'm going to let them say some words and we can go on. Okay. Hey, yeah, y'all ready? Um, Mr. Wilde is a comedian now, so he thinks that he has to be uh, ten minutes late every time on a. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wilde Archer on Facebook. So I said again, Wilde Archer on Facebook. W A L I L Archer A R C H E R. You can also find me on YouTube. Uh, just did a um, stand-up comedy act at uh, Newsport News, Virginia last Thursday. Came out pretty well. Uh, got the play coming up once again on Saturday. Then I have uh, the Funny Bone uh, next month uh, in Virginia Beach. All right, now we're going to the next one. Mr. Tommy Hunt or Sean. Okay, once again, I know all of my friends will be coming from D.C., Maryland, <coughs> Delaware, Philly, because this <coughs> is a real love story. We are making history. Right. Okay. And this is about the sound of Philadelphia and the city of brotherly love. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rick Watson, for giving me this opportunity to work with you again. And I did. I do want to say one other thing. I said I act earlier, but just remembering some of the work we've done in the past, he has also given me the opportunity to compose right. some songs for a couple of his other performances. So. And compose, and oh, so when you come out to the TV, so when you come, ain't no stopping us now. Oh, <laughs> on the move. we're on the move. All right. Okay. So uh, Tommy Hunt again. I just want to uh, thank Rick Watson for uh, letting me be a part of this experience. Um, just everybody come out, you know, uh, October 5th and, you know, show some love, you know, especially the light-skinned people, you know, yeah. so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, just come out, you know, and, uh, you know, show some love and we're going to have a ball.